Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today I want to talk about relaunching a product with Amazon PPC when you've gone out of stock. Now how did I come up with this idea? Well if you can see on my screen there's a highlighted comment under my YouTube video um, ranking with um, Amazon PPC. Boxer asks, I've recently six weeks gone out of stock. What would be your procedure when relaunching? So I'm going to cover that. Um, if you don't know, I'm Sean Smith from ppcamsaccelerator.com. And before we jump in, please, please click the like button. Really helps my video with the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's go on ahead and jump into this. So gone out of stock, what would be your procedure when relaunching? So I would say... You know, I would say my procedure would be to now my procedure has changed, I think, over time because of the Amazon landscape. Um, the first thing that I would do is record, record the in stock date. So record when the product gets in stock. So write that down somewhere. Put it on a calendar. Why do I say that? because we want to track the performance of the product, right? So we need to know the exact date when it came in stock. So then we can track it moving forward. Also, one thing to expect, most likely, higher ACOS. You know, usually when a product is out of stock and it comes back in stock, since the product, so Amazon uses sales velocity history per keyword for that product and conversion rate history per keyword for that product. So for six weeks, you don't have any history, right? So Amazon is using that data and then it's comparing your data to your competitor's data who might have been in stock. And so they're going to have better keyword rank. They're going to get better placement in the advertising auction. So that's why you should expect a higher ACOS. So you know, I usually say I used to recommend increasing the bids to make it more competitive. But since Amazon, you know, since across the Amazon landscape, we're seeing profit margins shrinking, there's inflation going like, you know, uh, record levels of inflation and um, costs are just going up drastically for Amazon sellers. And, you know, there's not as many buyers because of what's going on in the economy. So at this point in time, I would say just turn, I don't know if you turned your campaigns on or off or you kept them going or not. If your campaigns were paused, unpause them on the day it becomes in stock. If they weren't paused, then they'll just start running again. One thing to note is with sponsored products, when a product runs out of stock, the advertising doesn't continue. But with other ad types, it might continue with sponsored brands things like that, depending on how many ads you have in there. If you have a sponsored brand's headline ad with like five products and one of your products runs out, that advertisement will continue running because it has the other four products. To whereas if it only had three products, which is the minimum, if something ran out of inventory, that ad would stop running. So something to note there um, when you're looking at um, advertising. So you know, expect a higher A cost in the first few days or a week. And really, you just want to monitor it. You just want to see how it looks. You want to look at what the performance was before it went out of stock. You want to look at that first few days and that first week and see if it's going down. Like you're looking for a cost to go down and conversion rate to go up. And you want that. To, you want it to kind of happen happen naturally, right? You don't want to have to do a lot of optimization. So what I would do is, you know, monitor it, see how it performs because you'll have a higher ACOS in the beginning and then it should trail down over time as you gain um, sales velocity and conversion rate history. Sales velocity history and conversion rate history for the keyword. And I always recommend, you know, cutting bleeding keywords twice a week. You know, I, I categorize bleeding keywords as eight clicks and no sales. And then, you know, lowering high ACOS um, keywords. I, I don't know, in this situation I might wait I might, I might look at it after the first week and then see if it's doing better. Like look at the chart to see if it's, you know, gradually getting better because there are situations where, 
you might not need to do a ton of optimization because it naturally goes back to its original state. Now, if you do have a situation where you have um, low spend and you're not getting the traffic that you want, then I would bump up the keywords maybe 15, 20% and see if that helps with velocity. Because sometimes when you don't have sales velocity history or conversion rate history, then what will happen is you might not get priority in the ad auction and you might have to pay a higher price in the beginning um, to gather that history again. So look at the traffic, right? Look at, you know, what, what traffic you want it to be. Compare it to before, right? You have, you can use um, either a reporting software or campaign manager to see the impressions, the clicks, the orders, the spend, the sales before it went out of stock and then watch it, compare it to where it's at now and then say to yourself, hey, what's the difference here and what are ways that I can work towards that before scenario? It's not going to happen like immediately, right? Give it a week or two, something like that to, to let it stabilize and um, gather some history. But, you know, expect a higher ACOS that should trail down over time. Cut those bleeding keywords, higher ACOS keywords. I'd probably cut those maybe after the first week. Um, bleeding keywords you can cut more frequently just because they're not generating sales. But after the first week, bringing down those higher ACOS keywords. I have a formula that I teach people, but if you want a general rule of thumb, 10 to 20% is good. The only reason is because you don't want to make massive, massive changes because it can really kill traffic. And you know, you're not trying to go from 100% to 30%. You're trying to go from 100% to 90 to 80 to 70. You're trying to gradually bring it down, you know, because a lot of times when you try to go from one extreme to another, you have a higher probably higher risk of causing a huge dip in traffic. So that's what I, how I would approach the um, when you run out of stock. You know, this is how to approach PPC. You know, treating it kind of like a launch. Um, it is kind of like a relaunch, and your a cost will be higher than what it was before. And so, um, cutting bleeding keywords, um, decreasing high or AOS after that first week will help you kind of um, get back to where you need to be. Um, you can also increase the bids if you're not getting the traffic that you got before. And then, um, yeah, that's what I would do there. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, just click that like button. It would really, really help me out. And I'll see you next time.